We Chelsea fans have been wondering where Enzo Maresca has been because we thought we were going to get an earlier interview back in last week because he was going to start working at first live. But a week later we finally got it. He hasn't been missing. No one has kidnapped him. He hasn't go through a rehabilitation program and got himself injured, which I pray for. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> but joke aside, finally started to work and he made this interview today. And we're gonna go through that shortly and we're gonna go through all the tasks he will have in front of him. And I give you my thoughts and opinions around it. So before we continue any further, as usually, if you are very happy that we have Enzo as a manager, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my page, and hit that notify bell down below and I also want to remind you that he has signed a five year contract with an option of a third year to trigger and he will have his stop with him and one of them have been our former goalkeeper in Willy Caballero and there will be some other guys there as well and they going to be integrated alongside our existing goalkeeper coach in Ben Roberts and our new hired uh, set piece specialist from Brentford in Bernardo Cueva. Enzo will have a new modern football structure behind him that's gonna make it just easier for him to just focus on doing the head coach role and improve the players, make them learn his style of play. Welcoming Enzo Maresca of course to Chelsea. I'm going to fully back him and if something goes bad I'm just gonna to look upstairs. Now we're gonna go through his interview me it's clear we need to create as soon as possible the right mentality and culture a culture that the fans can be proud of join a club like chelsea you know it's a club that has to win which is key words here has to win it couldn't be more right uh, you passed the first uh, exam question here at Chelsea. We're going to try to do our best to fight and be there with the clubs that in this moment are winning and are fighting to win uh, titles. I think it's good he's mentioning that they're going to try everything they can of course you, that, because that's the only thing you can do, bare minimum. Uh, so it's great to hear that and hopefully we can see glory with Maresca. One of the reasons I'm here is because I'm convinced that the squad is very good. It's full of talent. Yeah, we have plenty of talents. Of course, if I were to decide, I would assign more experience and elite players because I think that would just help the young guys we already have. Now, he got a couple of new signings, of course. And one of them is in KH that he has been working alongside before and knows how to use him, which is really good. I want the manager to get players that... He needs for his style of idea. I have been vocal about that. Continuous. The most important thing now. Is that we are able to create the right culture. That drives us for the season. I think it's really good. He's starting with implementing that. He has a message to the fans. To trust the process. <laughs> Man I'm scarred from hearing that sentence. And those words. I'm going to definitely trust him. Uh, I'm going to back him fully. Trust the process. Trust the idea. Get behind the team, for sure we are going to enjoy the journey, like at every club, for every manager, it will not be easy, because nothing is easy, but for sure we are going to enjoy our journey. So it's good he's looking very much forward to start working. So what can we expect from Enzo Maresca? How is he going to go? What is his... Uh, uh, job here at Chelsea. Well, he's going to first have the modern structure behind him with a new hired specialist in different areas. He will have the sporting director Sam Jewell, he will have uh, Joe Shields behind him, the data recruitment analyst. He's going to just focus on being this head coach, only focusing on the tactics, uh, improving the players. He's inheriting a squad that Pochettino laid some foundations in. Uh, he built a togetherness, a bond towards the last months. Did a solid job with them. They improved in some areas. Some players improved more than others. He's going to set his own core structure in the starting 11 and build his own spine. Um, he's also going to have to maybe, I hate saying it, but we maybe have to be a little bit patient because he might not find his best starting 11 from the get go. He's maybe gonna take a couple of games. I expect Enzo Maresca to know when something doesn't work and he's gonna 
to have the knowledge what to do and how he's going to tweak for it to, to click. We can also understand that Chelsea have sort of built the core structure already with Caicedo, Enzo, and we got Palmer. We have built the core with certain players and they are suited for a specific style of play. That's what our owners and sporting directors believe. He's a coach that matches our squad's profile and therefore we can expect maybe Enzo Maresca to get more out of this place. You know, Pochettino had a more style that he wanted his players to run and work like horses out there on the pitch. Play more counter-attacking football and most of the season. Enzo Maresca is someone that is more tactical. He wants to control games. And he wants to heavily dominate possession. He likes to have one more man in the midfield than his opponents. So we can see a striker dropping down. And he wants his players to have patience. Going to build out from the back. That's what we can expect from him. Now held his interview. We're going through the expectations. He's of course going to have his press conference. Get more clarification on certain things we... As fans also uh, wondering, he has uh, uh, looked through our squad now in two, three weeks. He mentioned that he's been watching our matches that we have last season uh, constantly. And he says he knows um, our squad and the players really well now. And has a good understanding on what uh, cons and pros our players have. Uh, so he has an overview over our squad now and has probably started to plan a little bit also of course gonna plan and have the preseason now he's going to assess players through training and the six matches we're going to have and five in USA one back at the bridge against Inter and he will have them time to assess players which one suits my style of ideas which ones do I want to loan out, potentially sell, do I need to strengthen in certain posi positions and therefore I'm going to tell the recruitment team, hey I need a player for this position. I hope he will do that and not just be a yes man, but of course it's our sporting directors that are purchasing players, but hopefully there could be a song collaboration there, maybe he can get one more player he needs for his style of have. Uh, the preseason now is about raising fitness levels, get back into match sharpness. He will maybe bring up some academy guys and please back from loan now to assess them too. We'll see what his 25 man squad is going to be when the preseason has end, ended. There will be plenty of players that he will try out in different positions. He's going to be very exciting. He's going to have his team meeting, uh, talk with the players, um, talk about his... Uh, goals and targets, his ideas, he's gonna talk about we're gonna try to win everything of course every single tournament that we're in, whether it's uh, Conference League, Carabao Cup, FA Cup he wants to do everything he can to challenge for the title in Premier League that's the mentality you're gonna have but I think the bare minimum target we should have is to reach top 4 and win at least one silverware whether it's in the English Cups or in the conference league. We will also see what formation he's planning uh, to try out. This is going to be a 4-3-3 4-3-3-1 but we know the all formation he's playing is then uh, changing to a 3-2-4-1 system. In conclusion like for me Enzo Maresca seems to be a very smart intelligent guy that wants to win. He wants to implement his ideas and philosophies no matter what and he really really firmly believes in that. And he seems to be very hungry to win and just to get going. He's worked under amazing managers when he was a player himself in Italy and he won a couple of trophies. He's been a player in England as well and worked under managers here. He's been an assistant coach under Peps. Uh, Staub, uh, he won the Premier League 2 with City's development squad. First glance, when we heard the news about the SMRS, of course we all were worried having questions because we barely heard of this guy. He's been appointed and we fans have been digging deeper into Enzo. I feel like the possibilities of having success 
we, uh, by having him as a manager has raised massively compared to Pochettino and Potter because I didn't believe in that whatsoever and with Enzo Maresca we really can expect to have a system and style of play we can identify with really quickly and I think it's going to suit a lot of our players because they are so good in possession, has tons of technicalities, is good when it comes to being patient, taking instruction. And it's a brand new start as I said, a new chapter and hopefully we will see glory under and so. This is going to be all it for the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for more videos coming this week. So stay tuned for that and I'm out. Peace.